Hey there folks and welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I of course am your host CDB. You are not and I guess it's a bit presumptuous of me to say welcome back. In the event you're brand new, if you're new thanks for joining. You're probably interested in traditional wet shaving. That's how you people usually find the channel. But if not, hang around. We'll just talk anyway. Um, today we're going to use the shaving shop Emerald Moss. I assume Peter Charcala still sells this. And if he doesn't, he should, because this is really good. Oh, great Irish mousse uh, scent. Really, really nice stuff. Uh, Peter Charcalis Shaving Shop. Used to sell it. Again, it's been a while since I've looked, so I don't know. Um, this evening, it's Friday evening, and I have treated myself uh, to a bit of my favorite scotch, which is uh, Lagavulin 16 Water, my favorites, that is. This is a really good... Uh, scotch. Uh, it's been a, a long week. It's been rainy. In fact, it rained on me this morning, but then I did get to go and do a little bit of fishing this afternoon. So that was really good. And so we'll have a little bit of this wonderful Lagavulin 16, which is uh, really good stuff. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. If you're a Scotch fan, try this one. It's pricey. It's not something you can probably enjoy every day, but it's really, really good. Super, super smooth, great, great stuff. Anyway, uh, really nice. And highly recommended by Tom Brim. Uh, it is really good stuff. If you, if you like scotch type whiskey, which I do, I don't really um, drink much. Um, I'm sort of a now once in a while type of consumer of any sort of alcohol. Now and then I'll have a beer. Now and then I'll have a... Uh, scotch. Sometimes in the winter, I'll have scotch. It'll warm you up and so forth, but it's not a regular thing. In fact, I can't really recall the last time I had anything to, to drink, but this evening I said, you know, let's let's have a nice scotch and do a shave and see how it goes. By the way, we're using the Envy Shave 8 Ball brush, which is really good. One of my favorite brushes that you've seen here many, many times, and it is indeed really good stuff and as i said before we're using the uh shaving shop emerald moss which is fantastic in my view i really like it and we're going to be using the mergress um and essentially the mergress is a merker progress with a it's got a steel brass knob on the bottom instead of plastic that plastic with the progress always got on my nerves uh you always think you're going to drop it and break it so you can have a Magress made with one of these. It is more expensive, but uh, I like it that way. And, and it is a really good razor, but the regular Merca Progress is a very good razor. Regardless, uh, even if you get the one with the plastic adjustment knob, it's just fine. So long as you don't drop it, I'm sure it will last a very long time. So let's get going again. Today was a I had to take care of some things in the morning. It was pouring the rain and some of the things I needed to take care of was outside and I was like, good grief. I'm not gonna be able to get the things I <laughs> need to get done accomplished, but I did. And by the way, this one's set on three, which is about midway. Astra SP is the blade, if you were wondering about that. And that is just really, really smooth. A really fine razor to mark progress. So. My recommendation oftentimes for folks who are new. So once you get that first razor, and that's usually like a Merker 34C or Edwin Jagger DE89 or something like that. The second razor that I recommend is an adjustable and that can be a Parker variant. It can be a Merker Progress or it can be a vintage like a Gillette Fat Boy Gillette um, Slim or something like that. I do really think going with uh, an adjustable for your second razor really gives you a lot of bang for your buck because if it's, you know, if you don't think the initial settings are aggressive enough, you can dial it up or you can dial it down. Now I will say the 
The razor like a progress is more aggressive than say a Gillette Fat Boy, vintage razors we're talking about, um, Gillette Fat Boy or Gillette uh, Slim. The, the progress is more aggressive even on its lower setting, so be aware of that. But an adjustable is a really good um, choice for a second razor or even a first razor for a lot of people. But since there's that tendency to want to mess around with the settings, I usually would recommend you start out with a Merker uh, 34C or Edwin Jagger DE 89. Uh, the Edwin Jagger is what I started out with. Good razor. Um, but when you, after some months in, maybe uh, try Merker Progress or Parker Variant makes a very good adjustable as well. And it's very affordable. So those are always good choices. And by the way, yesterday, I made a video, I made a head shaving video too that I didn't have time to get posted, but maybe I'll post that one after this. So you can check that one out. I think it was just flapping and waxing poetic, which is typically what I do on the head shaving videos. It's just more talking and sort of therapeutic, you know, and so forth. The wife is uh, out of town. She's have like a, a wedding shower and she's baby showers and all kinds of showers, nothing that men generally know anything about. And so I'm out when it comes, when you say shower, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. So <laughs> she'll have a good time, I'm sure. Um, but shower's not for me. And honestly, wedding's not for me. I'm not crazy about those sorts of things. And boy, it's raining, raining heavy again outside. Hopefully it doesn't, doesn't mess up my fishing in the morning, but we shall see. But anyway, so I'm sort of bacheloring it. Bacheloring, if that's even a word, this evening. And man, I can hear it rain outside. It's been raining a lot again so far this spring, much to my chagrin. But I did have, you know, it started out, it was raining and it had that really loud thunderous, uh, or I should say concussive type thunder, the kind where you can feel it this morning. Man, I was like, oh goodness, this is going to be a terrible day, but it turned out to be a pretty nice day. I got out, did a little bit of fishing. It was just, I like being outside uh, in the good weather. And usually starting around March and April, the weather starts turning for the better here, but it's been raining so much the last two springs and summer. I think last year was the rainiest year we've ever had for I think 2018 was the rainiest ever. And it's just like, man, every time you turn around, it's like, I know we need rain, but you know, rain once, once a week, once every couple of weeks and give us a break, please. But it seems like just most every day this week it rained and there wasn't a lot of sun. And uh, I'm not digging that, but you know, if you have your health and family and friends, I guess you need to be thankful for that and I certainly am but I do like to get outside and, and do things so it's a bummer when it rains for several days in a row and it seems like it's Seattle or something or I don't know that it rains all the time in Seattle but if you watch these shows and they're in Seattle it's always raining and you just assume it is I don't know it is but man it bums you out that constant rain. I kind of get bummed out in the with the winter and so forth and like the sun, it gets gray, it's crappy. I just like nicer weather. Uh, but that said, everything is good. Oh, the same. And yeah, it is really coming down outside right to now. But that's okay. We're inside having a good shave. We've got some good Scotch whiskey, and I'm sure that's probably the only one I'll have. I, I had a, you know, a decent pour, but that's all I'll have. I, it's too expensive to, to use too much, really. You know how I am, I like budget stuff, but the truth is when it comes to Scotch whiskey, there's not much in the way of budget, um, not for single malt. You can buy blended scotch you know like johnny walker and things like that but uh single malt it's kind of hard to come by uh at a decent price they're all fairly expensive i mean 
some are more expensive than others and obviously the older they are the more expensive but you can get some good decent scotches that aren't terribly expensive but generally they certainly start out a bit more expensive than bourbon and i like bourbon too but i don't really drink a lot of it either it's just sort of a now and then treat for me um just like today i can't remember whether it was my second or third pass i'm gonna just let's just touch up a little bit just to be sure there's plenty of residual slickness there doesn't really matter i don't really have any thing i have to do tomorrow that requires a baby butt smooth shave it's gonna hopefully assuming it's not raining meet a friend do a little more fishing and so forth and just try to have a good evening here's to everyone i want to thank all of you for joining me and those who are new i think i mentioned this in the last video i do have my old channel it's at www.ilather the letter i and then lather.com there is like i think i said yesterday close to a thousand and there is like 800 and some videos they're older and then you have this channel imcdb uh, there's a lot of old material on that channel lots of views on those videos so if you want to see the old stuff you can go over there if you want to see the newer stuff say last year or two come on over here i uh, watch both channels you can find the old content where i was really into you know buying a lot of stuff and then come on back over here once you're ready to hear how things settled in i'm like okay you don't need to do all that so anyway keep that in mind both channels are available for you thanks for the time you spend i do appreciate it and again Here's to you. I hope you all have a great Friday evening. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You are not. God bless. Good stuff.